What's up, guys? Welcome back to The War Report, episode 16. It's Europe Day. Tell your friends what's going on. It's, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Jaxel Toss back here providing you coverage. Jaxel Toss. That's Jaxel a thing Toss. now, by the way. That's going to be trending. It's a thing. It's going to be trending worldwide on Twitter today. <laughs> today? Today. So we are on Esamir, guys. We yes. are hitting the Traverse. That is going to be the first point. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's just jump right into the game. Let's check it out. Let's do it. So... The map layout is actually interesting. If you want to, you want to so, pop up the map really quick, Jax. Uh, yeah. So just to show you the map, a lot of the times we don't have points that are connected, but today we have sort of a perfect map for an NCTR battle. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, there's a lot yeah. Of so the traverse points. is on the middle left there, right in between the red and the Correct. blue. So and for those of you that are not familiar, the traverse is essentially yeah. a huge bridge. Mm -hmm. um, this is basically the wide shot. The cap point is in the middle. It's it's kind of exposed just over the cap point. It has uh, sort of spotted cover throughout, and then you have the spawn room over here. So it looks like the NC are already here flipping the point. So really? It is a TR-controlled base, but the NC have arrived. They are flipping the point. Looking I don't understand bridge, how that's possible. I'm following, like, I'm following Galaxy's the NC right now from their main base. Yeah, I, I don't know. They, they must have sent one guy because I don't see anyone here at the base. Yeah, they're all on their way. They're flip. literally in Galaxy's right now uh, going over there. So that's a little bit interesting. Maybe NC getting a little bit of help from the neutrals. What do you call them? The uh, puppies. The puppy is that <laughs> is that really the word? The puppies. <laughs> yeah, that's what we. All right, maybe they're getting help from the puppies here in the beginning <laughs> yeah, so, of this. So you think I'm trolling you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought you might be. I don't know, man. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, oh my God, a galaxy already exploded. I don't know if y'all caught that, but on my screen, a galaxy just got taken down, maybe by puppies. NC just trying to make their way to the point here. I'm trying to follow these galaxies on their way. Um, but we'll see what happens, man. The TR able to flip the point back. So the TR have re-secured, and right now it looks like they're going to be on a solid base defense. But the NC are just getting here. They're, they're potting. They're going to show the way, man. They're drop potting in the top. It looks like they're going to go for a spawn contain here on the NC, so they're, uh, on the TR. They're not going to let the TR get out of the spawn so they can capture the bridge. Uh, at the Traverse, a, a very sort of well-known strategy is you do the spawn contain because the point is so far away from the spawn that if you have one squad in a full platoon do a spawn contain and you have the rest on the bridge and spread throughout the bridge, uh, you, you can do really well. Sunder trying to make his way to his proper location. Might have been drinking and driving there. He just toppled off that cliff, but he's going to try to get himself deployed as fast as possible. You want to get as close as possible to these points. You want to find an anchor point where your, your teammates can spawn closely and you don't want to be seen, but this guy essentially yelling at his opponent, probably taunting them, and he might get taken down very soon. Uh, it looks like a TR Mosquito spot in that center going underneath that bridge. He is not long for this world, Mr. Jax. He is not long for this world. And it looks like Bravo's squad here on the TR is going to be on point secure. So they're going to be directly on A. They're not going to let anyone get to it. Uh, where are your NC guys at? You know, they were taking galaxies over and they were getting picked off from the sky. So I wonder if it was a situation where the TR were like, hey, we know they're coming from the NC warp gate. Let's send some mosquitoes over there, kind of anticipating the galaxy strategy and going to take them out. Because I literally saw two or three galaxies that were full of NC, of this NC team get taken down by TR mosquitoes. Yeah, absolutely. And looking at the map here, they're losing the pit behind them. So they need to resecure that to take the traverse. But it looks like they're able to resecure that and then move on to traverse. Okay. So hopefully they'll be showing up here pretty soon. It looks like we have one of their squad. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to. I see a bunch of uh, little dots on the screen. Okay, so yeah, we're seeing an NC squad inside this uh, this building. Oops, is it? my camera's going a little bit faster. Some firefight being exchanged. Is is this a point here? I'm. Uh, that oh. is right next to the spawn room. That is a uh, huge. Uh, huge oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Okay. So that's where NC is right now. Right. The purple uh, squad. The purple squad. The purple squad. That's what I'm calling it. Otherwise known as Charlie's squad. Charlie. Charlie's squad is purple. Perfect. So they're all chilling in there, just taking control of this building right next to the spawn room, as you said. Uh, we got a TR Sunder really close by, which is kind of strange, because th there's already a, a spawn room right there. So why would you put a TR uh, a Sunder so close to it? Uh, that is kind of an odd place for a Sunder, just because it is so close to the spawn room. It's I would put one too. at the other end of the bridge to yeah. spawn at both sides. For but, sure. Uh, they have a spawn beacon next to their spawn room, and they have a Sunder right next to their spawn room. So a little strange. I think they're, they're worried about the spawn contain, but uh, yeah, it's a, kind of an odd tactic for Freelancers Union, but they're holding the point. They're doing a good job. Yeah, uh, again, that's what's important here, holding that point and NC having Did trouble coming up with the momentum. There is some action on the bridge, I think, isn't there? A quick look at the pop, guys. It's 58-42 in favor of the TR. Ah. So uh, right now, the TR do have pop advantage, and let's see if NC... I mean, it is two outfits on NC, so I would think they could get enough guys to, uh, to kind of get the pop in their favor here. They're trying to get some momentum done on this bridge here, going through the middle and from the top. Uh, of course, if you're on the top, you're kind of vulnerable to the, obviously, uh, your enemy vehicles in the air. But They're it, on it the point. Now, this guy, one guy's to the left on my screen on the point. You have a whole Bravo squad just sitting there watching him. Yeah. Are they going to take that guy out? A little strange. Yeah, he, it's one, one dude. Uh, this guy's dead. This guy's dead. I'm going to follow this one guy. And he goes down. 
one lone soldier. NC's really got to do a coordinate to push. Yeah. They, they can't move in one at a time. They really have to get a huge group together and, uh, and either do a gal drop or, or do a squad deploy on this point. Because right now they yeah. just have like two or three guys sort of harassing and just second the job done. They're trying to make something happen. I think that Sunder, that Sunderer is still alive at the bottom of the bridge. If we flip to my screen really quickly, let's take a look at this NC Sunderer um, underneath the bridge. Yeah, there it is right there. So it looks like they're coming from there and they're running up this hill and then uh, trying to make it to the spawn room from there. So I don't know about the strategy. Okay, the center looks like it is going to be moved, but obviously it's not working right now. Yep, it is not working, and they're not getting on the point. Uh, there, There's just one squad here holding the point. Okay, now it looks like Charlie's squad for TR is going to come in and, and secure with Bravo. So they're going to need an entire... I mean, they're really going to need two to three squads dropping on this point. They're going to need maxes, and they're going to need to take it pretty pretty effectively with large numbers, because right now they're not doing that. Yeah, the TR doing a great job holding this point, identifying exactly where their enemies are coming from, and NC trying to find a point of vulnerability, but they keep getting taken down here and there, and it's just not working. Whatever they're trying is not working right now, so I would love to see some new strategy tactics implemented. Maybe try to go for another gal drop, maybe try to get an all armor column coming forward. What do you think is the best way to kind of approach this point? I would drop with maxes. I would go back to the warp ah. gate. I grab a bunch of maxes, engineers, and medics. But uh, for those of you that watch the show, sort of max drops are, are my go-to for everything. Because <laughs> I think uh, they're pretty I powerful. Just, I just think they're the most effective things in the game. So for a point like this, uh, you can do one squad armor, three squad max medic engineer. Well, let's see if they try to do that. Meanwhile, TR still has a bunch of infantry on that point, defending it rather. Rather nicely, and we got some infantry coming up here from the NC again, trying to make it work. The Sunderer going to be redeployed. I love this location actually, where the Sunderer is. Let's see if the TR can identify that. Taking some shots from above on this cliff above it, the NC need to identify that. They have to keep the Sunderer alive so they can continue spawning here. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, right now they're they're not being that effective oh. as far as getting to the point. Let's take a quick look at the pop again, guys. We always like to keep, keep you guys informed. So now it's seventy-five percent TR. There are a lot of TR at this base. Yeah. So if the NC can't make a move here, we'll switch the points. But uh, we're going to give the NC a couple more minutes to see if they can get anything Gosh. done in this space. This Sunder is getting absolutely pummeled here. There's the smoke. I'm just waiting for the smoke to clear. And there's a huge explosion. And I think that's the Sunder dying. So again, the NC going to try to drop some, some pods here. Actually, them, those are some TR pods. Very bold indeed. Dropped in the middle of like about 12 or 13 NC troops. Going to get melted away. But... TR trying to shut down this location. The Sunder is dead, so I don't see that lasting too long at all. And the, again, the NC continue to try to come up with new uh, angles of entering the space, but nothing working so far. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, NC is just not getting it done here, unfortunately, against Freelancer's Union, who's doing a great defense of the Traverse. Yeah, uh, TR doing a great job. Now, I'm wondering where... I think we have two squads missing from the NC. Do a little bit of scouting, trying to find them. The point looks like it is still obviously controlled by the TR. And see some guys trying to sneak in there, but again, that's like, uh, I don't know. It's one guy trying to fight against many. It's it's fun for about 10 seconds. We until are few you, against many. Yeah, until you get diced away. It's it's fun being able to shoot a bunch of people, but inevitably you're going to die. So that's not really going to work as a tactic. Um, you got to get your guys together and really try to come in as one. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one of the things that's so cool about Planet Side, just taking a look at it, I mean, you have guys in the air, you have guys on the ground, you have all, all different points. I mean, strategically, this is a great game. There's so many things you can do right now. And uh, you see some NC air up, but the, the TR's got their air cover, they have their point cover, they have their Sunder cover. And if you use all the people you have available to you in this game effectively, it's, uh, it's a pretty great thing to watch. Organization yeah. is so key. Looks like I found uh, Bravo Squad here over to the uh, the south of the bridge, trying to get a center up behind this hill. But TR on top of it, looks like they have mosquitoes constantly roaming around this area. So to be able to get a center in here, if you're NC, can be remarkably difficult if the mosquitoes are everywhere. If there's something this area has, it's a lot of airspace. It's a lot of open area that you can really see from above. And yeah. if you have control of the air with the mosquitoes, there's nothing stopping you from seeing those centers. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if the NC can move in. So I mean, we're gonna give them a couple more, just like one or two more minutes here at the traverse. But they're not uh, effectively really taking this point. They can't get in. They can't get Sunder set up. And uh, FU is sort of denying them at every at every corner. I would love to see them try to get air control. The story of this 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 situation so far has been the mosquitoes. Remember when the galaxies came forward in the beginning with all the NC troops inside? The TR mosquitoes were there, able to take down the galaxies without too much trouble whatsoever. And they're going to have to drop out of the galaxies when they're still pretty far away from the point. So. Again, a great strategy so far from the TR. Taking air control at a base like this, I think, is incredibly important. And of course, that leads on to your theory about the galaxy drops with the maxes. 
You can't yeah. really do that if the mosquitoes are controlling the air, can you? Uh, no, I mean, you really can. I mean, you, can, you might be able to get them in right before you blow up, but it'll, it'll be risky. And just to give you guys a quick uh, update on Pop, it's 56.44, so it's fairly even. NC should be making a little more progress than they're making right now. Yeah, it looks like, you know, the TR are having fun. They're even just having a firefight on this plane over here on the on the south side of this base. Nowhere close to the point, but they identify, okay, that's where the Bravo squad is. Let's go to this area, shut them down, and we know they're here and not somewhere else, which is what they're worried about, of course. Absolutely. All right, we're going to move points. We're going to okay. send these guys over to the uh, to the pit. All right, let me type so, that in the chat here. Next objective, the pit. Okay, I have informed the NC of this new location. Now, what, what can you tell me about the pit here as I try to find where it is? Uh, it's right below that base. Oh, perfect. Uh, so, so here we're going to have NC starting off with a defensive stance, right? They're going to have control yeah, so, of that spawn room. So this is the pit, guys. It's a very interesting base. It's sort of a crater in the middle of Esamir, and uh, you can kind of shoot down into it from, uh, from these ridge lines. So it's a, it's a very vulnerable base. NC should be able to defend it, but uh, according to push, once you get into this building, the cap point, yeah. once you get into this building, you can kind of make that your home base. You can make that your Alamo, and uh, you just don't want them in there. So NC is going to have the defender's advantage, right? The, the, you know, the difference here is we're giving a point that is already controlled by the NC, whereas the first objective was controlled by the TR. So knowing this information, having this advantage that we're theorizing about, what do you do as NC? What do you try to control? Where are you looking for the TR to, come, uh, to be coming from? And what kind of tactics are you expecting from your opponent based on this location? Uh, so from if I'm the NC, I'm just going to set up in that building, in that cap point, because you do have the spawn advantage here. The spawn's not too far from the cap point. Uh, it's not exactly close, but it's not too far. But once you let people get that building, that A-point building, um, if you don't have enough medics in there, they can really roll over you because they can just get a bunch of medics in that one building. It's very hard to get into. There's just a couple of doors. There's one window, of, like a balcony, and uh, a main door. Sure. So it's an easy building to lock down. So if uh, TR Smart, they're going to move in, in forks, hit that building with their, their whole might, and just stay in there, have a bunch of guys in that building, and then send one squad with armor to shoot down into it from these ridge lines. All right, we got a bunch of NC filling up into the center. I, f I feel like they're a little bit slow in trying to get to that point. The quicker you can get to the pit as a defender, the quicker you can start setting up those. those yeah, I don't. I don't even know why they're taking sunders. Yeah. They should be able to just redeploy there, and they can instantly spawn. Yeah, I, a bunch a just quicker. loaded into the sunder, so a, a potentially vulnerable location, and a TR harasser, I think, spotted it. So you might be telling his friends, okay, they got a sunder coming in from the north. Let's try to take it out before it gets there. A similar strategy they employed in the first objective, taking yeah. out the galaxies on their way. And NC is just not moving effectively right now. Yeah, so they're going to need right. to move quicker if they want uh, if they want to win this fight. They want to get there. They want to defend. They want to be there before the TR get there. And right now, I do not see anybody at this base. Yeah, um, I see three Sunders here from NC still near the original location. They know about this point, though. They have set platoon waypoints. It all depends on what their platoon leader instructs them to do, how they want to approach this, uh, and how they want to defend this location. And, and being a little bit slow about it, again, taking Sunders to that location, when potentially they could use those squad deploys, we'll have to see if the TR can take advantage of this. Yeah, absolutely. So it finally looks like some NC are rolling out of the uh, out of the spawn room. I see three, four guys, and they're going to be moving to A. It's so important for the NC to get to A before TR gets here. And uh, taking a look at my map, TR yeah, what is are they up definitely to? on their way. It looks like we have two galaxies incoming with mosquito support, Ooh, so we should see the that's TR. Huge. Again, air control is so important. Yeah, we should see the TR dropping here in, in T minus uh, so, 15 seconds. So let's say the NC know this is coming. They know the big airplay is coming, which they might be able to theorize considering how TR handled the first engagement. How do you correctly deal with this airplay? Uh, at this point, I mean, you have Burster Max. Oh, up. trying to take out the Galaxy. They do take it down. But they got Delta Squad was able to bail out of that before it went down. They were not able to bail over A, though, so they're going to have to to definitely get in a firefight before getting to A. Ideally, you want to drop right on that building. Here's, Here's another like Galaxy. Squad's doing here. More Galaxies coming forward from TR. The first one, perhaps just a diversion. The Galaxy flipping there on its go. back and exploding in the air, but the troops able to drop yep. down from above, going straight for that A location. NC desperately trying to hold. Yeah, they are into A, so this is so important. Let's take a look at this building and just see if they're able to hold this. NC didn't have a lot of guys stationed in the building, which is surprising to me. Right now, they're, yeah, they're trying to track down the TR guys that are dropping from above. Looks like they're doing a decent job, but it looks like A is getting converted as we speak. Uh, yeah, right now the point is neutral, so it's not TR or NC. NC's kind of able to shut them down, but nope, TR, TR Charlie Squad able to get in there, and Charlie Squad is going to flip oh. the point to TR. So now TR has control of that crucial A point and that crucial A building. Okay, but the spawning point is going to be what's important. 
can TR lock that down? Because if the NC can just keep spawning here, there's nothing that's going to stop them from retaking A. Because whenever a TR individual dies, how do they come back? Right? There's, if they don't have the spawn room, they're going to have to have a Sunder. Well, they have to by. have a lot of medics, right? Sure. So the medics can just keep them up. If, if you load this point, I mean, I would almost advise an entire medic squad, a whole medic squad. Because Is it too late for that now, though? Yeah, I mean, they, they have a few medics in this point. They just threw a res grenade. They got some guys up. So they have two guys up, but it looks like NC's going to come and take them out. Yeah. NC looks like they're about to retake this point. Yeah, there's so much NC all in the hills above the pit trying to establish exactly where their opponents are coming from, keeping an eye on the air, see if there's any more galaxies yep. coming forward, any mosquitoes we have. It looks like a TR squad up on a hill over here trying to uh, apply some suppression fire from above, perhaps give some cover, perhaps set up a mounting point. A Sunder up here would be perfect, I think. That'd be a, a great location in between all these purple stocks. Um, but having that high ground. Pretty important. You're able to obviously see more of what's going on from below. And of course, you can obviously uh, tell the rest of your teammates about this. Yeah, absolutely. So NC's able to get in here. TR are moving in one by one. They really need to get a group in here and they need to yeah. move in like a full squad. Because right now there's a, there's a full squad of NC on this point and TR's not going to be able to take it unless they put one or two squads directly in the space. I think NC has identified this play uh, from their opponent. NC's got a, a scout here up on the highest point. And look at this. He's able to see everything that's going on. That's a really cool move. Uh, number 11 here. I'm not sure what his name is. Uh, oh, I want to give you a shout out, but I don't know your name. Oh, he just died. <laughs> okay, that's what not to do. You don't want to jump off of a high location, but that, that was a scary place to be. I might have done the same thing. Yeah, that was, uh, that was actually a pretty good spot. Let's take a quick look at the, store, uh, the scoreboard here. So it looks like uh, Muffin, Muffin of Tin. Muffin of Tin? I'm going to go with Muffin of Tin. Muffin of Tin. Is on top with is a that, is bunch that, of NC. That's a Europe name if I've ever heard one, perhaps. Muffin of Tin is. A is that? I think it is. <laughs> yeah. Grump. I love muffins, dude. Or let. Dude, nothing's better than homemade blueberry muffins. All right. Tell me. You can put some butter. Well, well, Tell me I'm wrong. Well, no, I mean. Okay. I Thank you. We can stop. <laughs> All you have to do is accept that that is one of the, the most delicious treats out there. So, Muffin, great name. I appreciate you. So, the, the NC are on this ridge. They're not letting the TR into the pit. Yeah. The TR really have to reorganize. They can't uh, spawn from a sunder at this point. I mean, they can, but it's going to be ineffective. They need to Where move in with one armor column, yeah. you know, like a, a squad of armor, and then three galaxies. Are you able to see what they're up to? Oh, my God. Mosquito trying to yeah, self-destruct. Right, right now, they're spawning at a, uh, at a sunder, it looks like, over here. Uh. But that's just not going to be the most effective way. To, uh, to get in the space. Oh, it looks like this, so they're using a spawn beacon, not a sunder. I was, I was incorrect. Fair enough. But uh, you need to use galaxies and armor to, to shoot into the base. You can control the uh, NC spawn pretty easily if you just have armor up on these, uh, up on these ridges. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. But it, there's like a, it's a bunch of ants running around the pit in the form of new conglomerate troops. That's exactly what's happening right now. They have complete control over this location, complete control over A, over their spawning room. And C doesn't really have any air, though. I mean, they, it looks like they have what, yeah. one burster max. They don't have a ton of anti-air. Well, how do you achieve that, really? Do you, I mean, if, I, if I'm TR, though, I'm, I move in with a, a couple of liberators, like four sure. liberators, and I just I shell the crap out of it. This, this I don't know, man. I feel like the group. NC would kind of expect that at this point. They don't have any anti-air to combat no. it, so they, I mean... Right, TR's we'll got to make better use of this air. Okay, well, look, I, 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 we I, I, I cheated a little bit and looked at the chat, and the NC said they were preparing for some sort of air assault. Uh, they are. They're, they're afraid of a max drop right now. That's what I just read in the chat. So we'll have to see how they, they kind of react to this and see where it's coming from. These mozzies are flying incredibly high, which is, uh, which is a good tactic. It looks like there's some TR dropping in. Let's take a look at the map really quickly and see where these TR are coming from. Are potentially. coming from. Yeah. I don't really see you're them. in there. You're in there. They're platoon, right? So you should yeah. be able to... Yeah, they have a guy over at Jaegers. They have a guy over at Jaegers Fist, Jaegers Crossing. Uh, looks like they have a Sunder leaving the Traverse. Maybe they're being so super stealthy. They're pretty split up right now. Or stealthy. They need Maybe to organize here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, you know, NC's got to be thinking of this too. They're like, okay, it's too quiet. It's too ominous. This is too easy. What is going on? What are we not looking out for? What are we not expecting? It might be in the form of a push from the north here. we got a bunch of infantry coming forward. Sunderers as well. This might be the troop movement we were looking for. Yes, the TR coming in from the north with absolutely everything. But will it work out? Is this the right tactic? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jack. It's, it's a right tactic for the TR, but uh, I'm mean, sorry, for the NC. But these TR really need to, to get some armor up on these ridge lines, and they need to move in with, with galaxies. Because right now they have two Sunders coming in. There's five Sunders from TR coming yeah, in. Yeah, but I, I don't know how long they're going to stay up. That's a great point. We'll see. I mean, the NC have locked this down. They have, it looks like, uh, a lot Charlie of Sunders squad. From TR. This is crazy. Yeah. There's, I count six right now on my screen. So TR have a lot of Sunders in a close location. They're not using, like, the opposite ends of the pit. They're sort of all grouped up. 
I don't really know what the strategy is from the TR right now. And one Sunder goes down there. Looks like their main Sunder, their front Sunder goes down. They have a backup set up over here, but this is far, way too far to be effective. Uh, they have six Sunders still up. Yeah, I, they might be focusing on this big building in, in front of, of the pit and really trying to control that location because from there you can kind of pivot towards uh, the rest of the base and start leapfrogging towards that A location, towards the spawning room. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't mind too much attacking from the north location where that building is because, again, once you get there, it's a lot of cover. But, again, NC was able to see this coming, and they're kind of shutting down, even getting close to that building. Yeah, and so you have their, their deployed Sunder is on fire. Um, let's take an NG on this immediately. It is going to go down. Uh oh. And it looks like uh, you have a, an NC guy going in there, taking out two. He's going for it. But it's, it's, it's on fire, but it's not going down yet. So this, this Sunder is well, not... There's like, uh, there's like 70 others. Yeah, there's a bunch of Sunders in case this goes down. But yeah. uh, the TR are not even pretty remotely close to the point at this point. Yeah, look, we just saw the platoon waypoint updated from the NC, so they know exactly where their opponent is coming from. I don't think this is going to work from TR. I think they have to, to fall back, regroup, and, and come in from another location, come the up TR with a strategy. TR just dropped on the point. They have two guys here, so let's see how these oh. lonesome, lonesome two. Yeah. So they flipped the point. They've successfully flipped the point, but it's just two guys, and I mean, they're, they're going to go flip down. back once they die. I mean. Oh, now a third one's coming, a fourth one's coming. Okay, Bravo Squad finally able to breach, and yeah. Bravo Squad is on a point with like five guys. Yeah. Uh, they have one medic though. They need to do pretty much an all medic squad to stay in the space. I don't think it's gonna work, man. Just dropping one or two at a time on this A location, I, I just don't see it happening. With NC all around this location, on the peaks, on these uh, ridges, in this building at the back, I don't see it working, unless they're trying to distract. If you can get a bunch of NC freaking out over two guys on the point, that's when you can make another push from the location, which might be what they're trying to do here from the north. A lot of infantry running forward. This could be it, the distraction that they needed. And look at all these TR just sprinting toward this location, trying to make it towards that building and uh, get some momentum from that north location. Absolutely. So their, their platoon leader is call, probably calling the go, go, go to move in. Uh, they so have there's... three guys still alive on the point, boldly fighting. But uh, it looks like they're going to go down. NC doing a great counter push, able to secure. NC taking out the entirety of Bravo squad. Um, there's, there's lone TR guys dropping in one at a time. Oh. That's really not how you, how you do it. You I, need to move in yeah. as a collective. I love the idea, though, right? You know, obviously in the beginning, of that, like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw three, four, or five guys, maybe a whole squad, at the capture point. We're going to try to get NC to freak out shift their attention to that location, and then we're going to attack with everyone else from a different location and try to take advantage of a vulnerable NC platoon. But NC was on top of it. They were ready. They were able to identify the Sunderers, where they were going, and shut them down so it couldn't work for the TR. Yeah, absolutely. So NC able to resecure this point pretty handedly, and uh, NC's got good control of the pit. Let's take a look at the pop. It's 59% NC, 41% TR. Yeah. So NC definitely has the pop advantage here. And uh, we'll fight here for a couple more minutes, and then maybe uh, switch yeah. locations. You know, again, NC doing a great job so far. It looks like they're just simply keeping a squad today, just fo making sure they keep that alive. That's so important. Yeah. The base is so defendable. Absolutely. Because um, the building doesn't have a ton of entrances. I mean, it's got the window. Uh, it's got Ooh. a balcony for light assaults. It's got the main door. Now, the facility has oh officially God. been defended Look at all this TR. NC. Look at all this TR in the northeast. Yeah, there is, there's a ton of them, but they're there's so, so far many. away. This is too far away to be effective from the base, so they have to get in closer. And that's trying why I'm to get saying the high they need to regroup and they need to gal drop because at this point they're basically just wasting their time being this far away from All the right, base. we're going to have a huge infantry firefight here on the plains of the pit, just outside the A location on the high ground here, trying to get up there, but sending every single one of their members in this location. Sending a lot of infantry on the ground, a lot of med uh, medics involved as well, trying to heal up those infantry, keep them alive, extend their life as long as possible, and trying to make a push towards that A spawn location. But once again, NC is on top of it. They're directing all of their fire towards this location, and I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, it, it, I mean, NC is able to suppress them. These guys are not able to get anywhere remotely close to A point. Yeah. NC is completely shutting these guys down. Yeah, really cool work from NC. This is the exact opposite of yeah. what we saw at the Traverse. Exactly. The Traverse, we saw TR completely shut these guys down. It looks like it's a, a defensive day so far. Yeah. Planet side. Defense, uh, defender's advantage. And what's so important about this is, again, being able to identify what your opponent is doing, having a scout, always watching everywhere, having a mosquito maybe above in the air, uh, or, or whatever air vehicle you know is, is available to you, and just identifying exactly where your opponent is coming from and making the proper calls. Absolutely. In, in dealing with you know whatever offensive is is taking you know, a look at this uh, at this scoreboard, you got you want to you want to take a shot at that that first name? Yeah. Uh, oh, lucky Jawad. Oh, lucky Jawad. 
and then you got Netty, Lou Bio, Smeggy, Evil Fish, LCTR, uh, Non Woman. <laughs> uh, a decent mix here. Obviously, NC, it looks like they're a little bit, like probably two or three more there on that leaderboard. Giving you guys some uh, shout outs. You do see Hadouken, who's the guy that set this up. Big shout out to him. Hadouken was on the, uh, on the leaderboard for a minute. He is one of the leaders of Freelancers Union. All right, let's see what happens here. TR, I, where are they coming from now? Am I missing? Let's see. The TR, are t I mean, they're moving so ineffectively at this base. They're finally, I mean, they're finally starting to get armor in, but it's one one lone lightning. They need to get armor on this ridge line. They need to shoot it into the pit, and then they need to have two to three squads and galaxies dropping on it. Because right now they're spawning too far away, and they're, they're crossing this huge open plain and they're getting picked off. They got mosquitoes above, trying to lay down some suppressive fire. One of them spotting a sunder there below from the NC, but it looks like some uh, heavy artillery going to be shot at that uh, at that mosquito. So he's going to back up, super around some more, get some scouting information done, trying to identify where those core vehicles are from his opponent, and of course spotting those for his teammates, letting them know where they are. So TR, TR finally pushed in, by the way. They? It looks like they have two to three squads over here at A. Oh, wow. So this is going to be hugely effective. They're finally able to get wow. in. They took harassers. They got a sunder there, too, deployed at the top. Yeah. Yeah, so this is big. They, they basically got a Sunder close enough to be effective, and they're just flooding in, and this is what they need to take the point. Okay, where did NC go? They got to get back here. A has been switched over. Three minutes, 40 seconds on the clock there. NC trying to regroup at their spawning room, but definitely caught a little bit off guard here by this push. A Sunder on the top. NC has to identify, take that out, so TR can't spawn as close as they are, because if TR gets out of control, gets enough people here, and lays down the suppressive fire on that spawning room location, there's nothing NC can do. This is a really, really strong TR push. So they got a Sunder close enough and they oh, just Oh, it got taken in. out. Did it get taken out? Oh no, it's no, just taking fire. It's it's still up. So just to show you guys the pop, it's 52% NC, 48% TR. So this is a very even fight right now. It's so important to keep that Sunder alive. That's a very important anchor location, but it looks like it does get taken out. NC able to identify where it is and able to kill it without too much trouble. And now it looks like the NC setting up the Bravo squad are very near the A point all around that spawning room. But there is, uh, looks like a harasser up top here. Um, again, identifying exactly where the, his opponents are, trying to get that good location on the high ground to lay that suppressive fire so A can remain in control of the TR. If I'm TR, I have a bunch of medics in this point. Right now, they don't have a ton of medics. They have two or three. Whoa. Taking a quick look at the platoon on my screen, if you look at their platoon makeup, they don't have a bunch of medics. And I, I'm a big Whoa. believer in you can never have enough medics because they bring you right back into the fight. A bunch of NC trying to charge in here. Looks like they, they came out of nowhere trying to get to that A location. Res grenade out. TR still has control of that high ground up there, so they're just shooting at the infantry from below with harassers, with rocket launchers, you name it. They have it up there, even charging the harassers resins. down below. They're able to get these reses up, they're able to get these players back up because they have medics, they have res grenades, so they need all these medics on this point to stay alive. Uh, two minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. All right, NC trying to break in this location, trying to get TR out of there. They held this point for so long, and they do not want to give it up. They have two minutes to try to get it back into their favorites. That doesn't convert over to the TR, but the TR, again, doing a great job keeping all of their infantry alive and, and, and getting their Sunderers up close, trying to get those reinforcements there on the high ground and shelling below into the pit of death and destruction uh, near <laughs> that A location. The pit of death and destruction. Oh, yes. I like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, TR's doing a great hold here. They're doing a great job. A minute and 50 seconds left. Are they going to be able to hold it? Let's see. Let's see. Gosh, the pressure, the suspense is all here from the NC. They know how hard they fought to try to keep this strong. And they're just sending in their guys one at a time. I feel like just one big push where everyone gets together and launches towards A is what they need to Absolutely prevent this from turning over to the TR. Absolutely agree with you. They need a huge push here. They need a strong push into this point. Gosh, the smoke is just refusing to clear here. All I'm seeing are skulls from the, the NC squad, which is not good for them. So the TR, again, doing a great job identifying exactly where the infantry are coming from. But NC making a huge push once again, sprinting forward with all these infantry. Some maxes mixed in as well. But the TR looks like they have it locked down. But so much NC, so many maxes there right into that window trying this to shoot inside. It. This might be the NC take that they needed. They're using their maxes. They're making that big push you were talking about. Officially, one minute on the clock. And they're able to flip it back. The and are they? able to stop it. They're trying to. It's contested right now. It's contested. It's still in TR favor, but the, the time is, is no longer ticking, so it is neutral. It looks NC like it able should to be flipping. Flip it back. Wow. Huge NC max oh, rush absolutely. there. TR desperately trying to drop in with some infantry, trying to hold Getting on, some but C4 no. Down. They take down. Wow, look at that. They just did a room clay with C4. Whoa. 
Ooh. They took out all of the NC Maxes. Oh now is the God. time for TR to push in. Now is the time they need to retake this point, and they're doing, they're doing it. it. They're and doing they're it. getting their guys in. Wow, the TR coming in here. Uh, such a back and forth battle we have here at the pit. The TR continue to come in here, clearing out that room with the C4. As you said, so many NC soldiers dying One in that exchange. One minute seconds on the clock. TR recapture the point here. Oh my god, NC, where are they? They need to come in here right now. They need to come up with another big push. They know the pressure is on them. They don't want this point flipping over to the TR. Again, they've had this point for so long, but TR only has a minute left before it converts. Yeah, they have one minute. They need to do one more push, but a lot of their maxes just went down, so they're not going to be able to pull new maxes. I mean, that, that C4 by the TR was, was absolutely Huge. executed beautifully. Yeah, uh, you know, battle changing in a sense, but now there's such a huge TR presence in this location. They're identifying. On the clock oh here. gosh, they're identifying exactly where the NC are coming from. The NC trying to come in one at a time from the spawning room, and it's a situation where you don't have time to necessarily group up and go for a massive push. I think they're just saying, go, go, go. We have to get it now. Just throw everything you have at that A spawn location. I don't think they get it converted get it. over I in 30 don't seconds. I think the NC are going to be able to convert this in time. I think it's going to go to the TR. Oh, there is 20 like seconds left on this point. The NC have to do something now. I see NC players outside of the point, but they're not able to get in. And this is going to be a TR oh victory, God. it looks like. There's so many TR in this location. NC desperately trying to bust their way in there, dropping in from above. But there's even a tank up there from the TR trying to watch over this location. I don't see it happening. TR nope. has five seconds to get it converted over to their favor. And a little bit of desperation here from NC as they're trying to get a one guy, at least one guy in there. But no, facility lost. The TR take the pit. The TR take the pit. That was absolutely awesome. I mean, that was just great. Wow. The, uh, the NC were not able to get in there in time. They weren't doing the coordinated pushes. They did that one max push, and it was very effective, but they didn't regroup and push out a second time. The TR4s pretty much overwhelmed them, and uh, the TR take the pit. It looked tough for the TR at first, too. Remember the NC, again, doing a great job holding the front, identifying exactly where their opponents were coming from. What do you think was the changing point? What made it so that uh, the TR could take control and, and then just keep it alive that long? They finally got a Sunder close enough to be an effective spawn because yes. before they were spawning so far away that they it wasn't really effective. They couldn't get it on the base, and they found a hole in the uh, in the NC defenses. They they didn't watch one of the sides. They were able to put a, a Sunder right there, right next to the cap point, and uh, they just flooded in. And once that room gets flooded, it's very very hard to retake. Speaking of flood, TR absolutely everywhere. This is the Zerg. A lot of people talking about just going in every which way, trying to identify exactly where their enemies are. Pretty much making an oval on top of the pit, being absolutely everywhere. Like that scene in. Um uh, that, that penguin movie where they're dancing at the top of the cliff and looking down, and then the penguins ha are dancing too. Yes, Happy Feet. Great movie. This is a sick movie, man. That's what this reminds me of right now. Mumbles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, that's an awesome movie. So we've, we've gone over uh, Happy Feet, Blueberry Muffins. We're really the guy, the, the, quite the damn Where the, the penguin, report. his voice was like, is messed up, so he couldn't sing, so he felt isolated. Yeah, no. I don't uh, want to spoil anything, but then he went on a mission spoilers. To, to bring, was it fish? I, they I, were looking for where the fish went. We are. And then getting they danced. Off, off topic in a whole different way here. And That's I like what it. this is, man. That's what this, this is, is what happens it's when, when Jackson map. Foss goes to Europe. It's a snowy map. Things get weird. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, T uh, TR doing a great job. This is absolutely overrun by TR. Yeah. Everywhere you look, I don't even know. Where, I don't know where the NCR are anymore. Let me take a look at the map and yeah. see if there's another point that we can hit. Uh, Frostbite Harbor would be kind of mean to do that to the NC. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, why? You mean to the TR? No, to the to the NC because they have so many. TR have so many people there right now. At Frostbite Harbor? You mean NC, NC have a bunch of people at Frostbite Harbor? Uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. You're right. I, uh, I saw enemies detected. I think that. it'd be mean for the TR because like TR just did a great job capturing the pit, and then you're like, all right, take Frostbite Harbor. But yeah, it could be a good challenge. Let's I don't go ahead know. and do that. Let's tell, them, okay. tell you guys Frostbite <laughs> Fair Harbor. Fair enough. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right, here we go. Next objective, Frostbite Harbor. The question is, can NC... Defend. Absolutely. So we are heading over to Frostbite Harbor. Just giving myself Gotta get oriented a, little, here. Uh, a little waypoint here. And guys, this is Frostbite Harbor. You might recognize it from last episode. It's an outdoor base. There's a huge opportunity for armor attacks because you have this vast thing to the right. It's basically it's huge. I want to call it an ice lake, um, this huge plain. Now, the cap point's going to be over here. But if you set up a Wait, sunder, where's Where's the cap point? It's, it's, uh, it's right here to the left. And if you set up a Sunder here, you can kind of make it a home base because the, the defenders have to spawn oh, okay. all the way over here. Oh. That's a lot of ground to cover. Interesting. So this place, uh, a lot of attacker, open space. Too. A lot of open space. This place can be heavily dominated by the attackers if they get the right Sunder position. Okay, it looks like uh, apparently the TR looking to go for a gal drop. At least that's what um, 
Scott15 is saying in the platoon chat of this NC's, uh, NC platoon. What are they? What are they saying, platoon chat? That, that there's going to be a, a gal, blo uh, gal drop from the TR. That's what they're looking out for right now. I wouldn't bet on a gal drop okay. because you're so close, and if you just roll in mass sunders, that's the way to take the space. You roll in like five or six sunders. Like I said, if you can set them up near A, uh, you can kind of make this a home base because the spawn is so far away over open space uh, to A. Yeah. that uh, this isn't really a defender's advantage base, I'd say. Yeah. And we normally see great, great armor battles on this uh, plane. So yet, uh, last episode, we saw like 20 to 30 tanks fighting it out here. So hopefully we'll see some good uh, good armor battles. Watch out for those. So how do you set up if you're the NC right now? Obviously, you're looking north. It's like, uh, again, you know, Game of Thrones, you're in the south, and you're, you're trying to defend against the incoming attack <laughs> from the Wildlings. Great show, by the way. From I'm the a, north. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Uh, I think if you're the if you're the NC, you set up a Sunder right by your A point, so you kind of make it a home base. Because uh, as I said, your spawn is way too far away to yes, be. Yes, I agree, 100%. Defense. So you can have as much maneuverability as possible around this location, yep, it so looks you like can react. This ridge line. So you can react properly to any assaults from above. Absolutely, they're getting ready for a gal drop. Who's they? TR is. TR is. NC is getting ready for a gal drop. Ah, they're preparing for it. Okay. Uh, now they're saying a platoon. We'll need Sundays ASAP. You do need Sundays ASAP, TR. You need to get those Sundays up. And uh, looking at the, they're doing a gal drop. Not what I would do. Oh, Honestly, yeah. that's I think not, I see him. Wait. I mean, unless you gal drop on the vehicle pad, hack it, and then spawn a Sunday. But realistically, a gal drop is not the most effective way to attack yeah. this base. Ominous feeling here from the NC. They know something is coming, but they're not exactly sure what. It's a little bit silent, a little bit too quiet. When are the TR? The air is about T minus 15 seconds out, and uh, it's going to be I'm three looking. to four galaxies coming. There's going to be a lot of TR oh, in I this see space. Him. I see the shadows. The shadows are being seen from the NC as the galaxies breaking through the, uh, the, the clouds. I see three of them in total. The question is, are the NC prepared for this incoming drop? It's going to be ferocious from above, from the TR. Yeah, absolutely. So the galaxies are now coming in. They are in towards A point. It looks like Delta Squad is going to be the first one here. Oh. Delta Squad is letting their guys out. And uh, both Charlie and Delta dropping on A, and it looks like they're going to flip it pretty much immediately. Oh, the NC need to be better, better prepared for this. Trying to focus their far ar fire on the Galaxy from above, but a lot of skulls on the ground here. There's a lot of NC individuals going to be taken down. A is slowly starting to be converted here, and already converted, uh, already in control there by the TR. They have three they minutes have a lot and 50 of guys seconds. On a point. Looking at my screen, they have, I mean, two full squads on A point. TR does. TR, yeah. Already. But they don't have, I don't see any Sundays yeah, up. So I don't see any point. spawns up at this point. So if they go down, they're down. Yeah, we have some NC harassers scouting around, looking for those Sunderers, trying to make sure that it does not get up even a Lightning there in the mix. Uh, looking for those Sunderers, trying to take control of this plane, trying to isolate those individuals inside that spawning room, because you know, there's a timer. Once those guys die, there's no coming back at, at A point, right? So if you shut down all the entry paths, you cut off reinforcements, you can isolate those troops, and when they die, there's no coming back, unless, of course, there are a lot of medics involved. Absolutely, yeah, they, they're going to need these medics because they don't have any spawn points. So if the NC is able to do a coordinated push, they didn't set up the Sunday at A, though. I mean, NC yeah. had time to set up a Sunday. They had time to set up defenses directly on the point, and they had no squads waiting on A. They knew there was going to be an incoming uh, force of TR. I mean, multiple squads, obviously, a full platoon coming at you. You don't have at least one squad on A, that's ill-advised. All right. NC trying to get in this location, but TR holding strong, focusing their fire on the doorway that enters. And the NC just dying as they try to run in. It's not going to work. Um, they're not going to be able to straight run into A. No, they're they're going to need gonna maxes, happen. and they're going to need to do a coordinated push because uh, like they're shelling into the, the point, which is good. They're actually taking out a lot of TR shelling in there. But uh, you know they need that armor support shelling in the windows, and then they need maxes to, to crash in. And they only have 2 minutes, 30 seconds to do this, too. Uh, that's important as well. So they need to come up with a coordinated effort to shut this down. Oh, I see a Sunderer. The TR has a Sunderer pretty up close here. It is in the middle of the middle of the, this lake, so it's relatively vulnerable. Yeah, I would put it on the other side of the building, personally. Yeah. Uh, because right now, Look how right, open it's it very is, vulnerable. Man. And already has rockets coming out. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, not a good location Why for a Sunderer. Why are they not moving that? And it know. goes down. They gave up. And look at this A. Hold on. Is it going to look? We have a huge, uh, I think, yeah, Bravo squad trying to come in here, trying to get into that location, just chilling outside this doorway. A lightning coming forward, just shooting straight into the doorway. I would not, I would not uh, yeah, want to be in that room right now. That's not going to be nice. Oh, gosh. I, they is they, this the push? Is this the push? They drop for? potted on it, and it, the lightning's on fire, but they weren't able to get the kill on it. Lightning's able to get out of there. I'm waiting for the smoke to clear. They only have a minute and 40 seconds, so this force that's harassing needs to move in there, and they need to use that lightning to clear it out first. Nice God. Look at how many NC's NC doing what dying. they need to do, though. I mean, this is exactly how I would play it. 
just trying to rush in there. Look at that. Uh, those grenades that you're talking about They're earlier. They're flipping the point. They are, NC is able to resecure it at a minute and 20 seconds left. Wow. Look at all the NC in here. Now, they need to not all die to C4, I think. Good plan? Yeah, that would be a good plan. Now, there are, I, I think a lot of these guys have hot reses waiting for them, but they're not hitting their revive button because, I mean, they're going to res up in, in a very crowded, crowded NC room. Yeah. So now it's all about shutting down any avenues to this location. I think it's a bad idea to keep everyone in there because you're just asking for someone to throw in a grenade or something or C4 and just all die. So they're going to spread out. They're going to try to identify, OK, where are the TR coming from next? But the NC finally converting that over, holding them off. And we'll have to see what the TR does T next. Taking a quick look at the scoreboard, you have Evil Fish on top. This guy, Evil Fish, has been all over the scoreboard today. Yeah. Uh, so Grim, Evil Fish, Retriever Cypher, Plant Gen. Uh, Evil Fish. Is that like Gyarados in Pokemon, Evil Fish? Right? Isn't he an Evil Fish? Uh, Come on. Uh, <laughs> what type of oh, Magikarp is a fish, right? I, you know Pokemon. I wasn't a big Pokemon. Oh guy. my gosh. I wasn't okay, a big Pokemon. Okay, I'm going to ignore guy. you. I'm going to relate with our audience right now. Audience, you guys know Magikarp, the fish in Pokemon. Turns into Gyarados, this fierce monster of a fish. And I, I would say Evil Fish. If he could be a Pokemon, it would probably be Gyarados. I think you're a big tier right now. That's the way it is, man. That's the way it is. Do not argue. It's flawless logic. Yeah, no. So uh, we so we're learning a lot about Axel Toss this episode. <laughs> Personally, getting to know you a lot better. It's, it's, I'm, it's knowing, I'm getting to know you a lot better, Mr. Doesn't like Pokemon, or I don't even know what to say. Not knowing Magikarp and Gyarados. Wasn't, I wasn't a big Pokemon Shame guy. on you, bro. Shame on you. All right. Anyway, Sunder coming in for the TR. Running into his own harasser, taking him out. He's like, oops, sorry. <laughs> they <laughs> need more Sundays up. up. They need to spam this point with Sundays. So Sunder's right now they dead. have one. But they, Let's see how why are they lasts. deploying their Sundays in such an open area? Just trying to get in there as fast as possible. I think the center realized he was already dead, so he's like, all right, let's just... Oh, my God, another center coming forward, trying to replace the other one. There we go. That's trying to do a magic trick, saying, nope, I didn't die, I'm still here. This is a much better place, because you have the, these crates, these shipping containers yeah. for Araxis materials. Trying to pop him. out. Trying to pop out are the TR, and we got another center coming forward. There we go. Now the, now the no, TR are getting exploded. in Sundays. They have one... I don't know, man. Two just died. This third one's going to die. I don't think centers are going to work from this location, man. It's just too close. Maybe they're running out of time, though. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. I'll be honest. Their Sunders are just dying, Jax. They're running it and dying. They're, they're doing the right thing, though. You need to mass Sunders here. But if you just die, what's the point? Look, we just saw five Sunders get destroyed. Well, they, they should have accompanied them with armor. Uh, okay. Ideally, you know, obviously being watching the games and not being in the fight, it, it's easy to sort of criticize them. But rolling oh, Sunders yeah, yeah, yeah. in without any tanks is not yeah, the yeah, best yeah. decision. They need armor support. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Just from a general sense, if you're sending centers across an open plane and then deploying them in an open plane, I don't know how well it's going to work. You know, if there's a lot of like a lot of angles the NC can take to take out the Sunderers, you might want to you know reconsider where to place those. You know, I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Just theorizing. You, you need to you need to roll them in with uh, with Prowler support there. Sure. Because just rolling in like five Sunderers yeah. is what you need to do. But yes, you I need, agree. You need peep, You need armor with them. Otherwise, they're yeah. just going to get especially to take in, out. in a location like this. Like there's nothing to hide behind. Yeah, look You're at this huge open plane. The NC are just foot zerging across the plane. They're not even, they're just YOLO Bieber swag right across right. this bad boy. Exactly. It's it's tough. Uh, it's really tough. Like, um, if anyone ever played DayZ, you played DayZ. Come on. I, I love DayZ. Thank you. Okay, you know the air the air the airfield where yes. you get all the weapons. Yes. That big open space. When you run across that thing, you feel terrified because there's a sniper watching. <laughs> there's you definitely know it. a sniper. And that sniper is deciding: it. should I kill this guy and reveal my location? Or should I let him go? I always get killed. I'm, I do too. I'm not good at that. That's why I, I kind of stop. <laughs> yeah, I get really frustrated <laughs> yeah. playing that game. I get like but anyway, it's kind of like that, right? A big open space where you're kind of scared going across, and you know how vulnerable you are. Yeah, I mean, so the, the Delta squad from TR is up here in the mountains, but uh, a bunch of those NC just foot zerged over the plane, and they didn't yeah. even, I don't even know where they're going. They just were so excited. Yeah, I mean, I like this a little bit better from the TR. Because this location is high ground over this base. Obviously, it's a little bit further from A, but it's all about setting up that location where you can really start getting those pushes up. And this is where you have cover. This is where you can set centers behind these hills, and you have high ground advantage. It looks like NC is on top of it. They identified exactly what their opponent is trying to do, and we've got a lot of firefighting action going on. on this wow, plane. look at this battle up here. 
The NC are absolutely shutting down this yeah. uh, this TR squad. They identified this They're moving really in with two to three squads to take out one, and they're absolutely annihilating the front. But is this team. another distraction technique? Because while this is happening, what's to stop if you Sunder is from charging right towards A, or at least just one squad charging right towards A, right? You tell three squads, all right, attack on the back, bait them forward. Go try to get them to think you're coming from that location. One squad, though, I want you wrapping around the front and taking control of A. And look at that. It's being converted. And big shout out, by the way, to the Freelancers Union, who's our TR outfit, uh, and Consortium and Heavy Metal Marines, our NC outfit. If you're on Miller and you're looking for solid outfits, these guys are yeah. obviously on the show. They're excited about competing. So check out Freelancers Union, Consortium, or Heavy Metal Marines. Sunderer coming down. We're getting spotted immediately by the rock. It's doing a little bit of dance with the harasser before realizing, OK, I want to reposition with some cover. And here we go. I, I see some armor. ton of armor. This is what the TR needed to do all along. They need to, you have this huge open plane. They need to utilize it. And now we have a ton of armor out from the TR. Accompanying their Sunners with Prowlers, this is exactly what they need to do. This was their plan all along, I feel. Let's get some infantry in the south, try to distract them. As we do that, set up a bunch of armor, get a bunch of armor squad running towards that A location, bring some Sunners in, and lay that fire as they try to run back to defend A because NC, they've been defending the south, leaving themselves vulnerable in the north, potentially. Absolutely. So this Sunder from the TR is able to stay up. So they're going to have that one Sunder. Where is it? Where is it, Mr. Jax? Uh, it's, it's right here by the NC spawn point. So it's pretty uh, okay. far away from the cap point, actually. But uh, at least they have one up. At least they have a spawn point. I would point. love to see a Sunderer with this armor. They, they need one over here now. They need one right by this A point. Yeah, I agree. And uh, imagine if you, could sunder, if you can deploy from a tank, a tank Sunderer. That'd be pretty crazy. In the beta, you were able to uh, deploy from the galaxies. Oh. So you were able to fly places, but I guess they thought that was kind of OP. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because you could kind of fly it anywhere. It's debatable. Just land and deploy everywhere. Anyway, this armor push trying to happen for the TR. NC doing a great job shutting NC's it down so far. Great job shutting down this armor. There needs to be a Sunder with this, though. Like, I'm. They need more Sundays. Because like, what's the point of pushing with these armor if you don't have an ability to spawn near them? Right? I completely agree. Yeah. So now they're all getting destroyed by rockets. So maybe a little bit of miscommunication there, but are they pushing from another location? Is this just another distraction tactic? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what the TR is doing because they, they, they did what, exactly what they needed to do with that armor column push, but all of their sunders have gone down, and it looks like they only brought in two sunders. That's not enough. You need like four oh sunders. Look at all these mosquitoes they have. Prowlers. There's like 50 mosquitoes from TR ro roaming around. Yeah, it seems like Freelancers Union is definitely a fan of the air. They're winning the air battles today, for so sure. So by doing this, they can get control of that air, and then they can mix in the galaxies and try to drop on top of it. Here are a couple TR Sunders. Okay. Let's see what these is two guys are Is it too late, though? Do. I think it might be too late, because the, the armor column is gone. Oh, you have three TR Sunders here, it looks like. All right. But again, the armor's gone. The tanks are gone. So it seems wow, like this is a little bit late. down. Yeah, I don't see this working, unfortunately, for the TR. Yeah, two, two goes, goes down. down. Yeah. I mean, if, if, he, if those Sunderers were with the tanks and stuff, I'm fine with that. But attacking with the tanks and then following up with the Sunderers afterwards, I think a little bit of miscommunication there from the TR squad. A quick pop update. 67% NC, 33% TR. So the TR are not uh, in the hex right now. A lot of them aren't in the hex. Well, it looks like their whole platoon is here, but they're just, uh, they're just outnumbered. So yeah. it's, it's now 69-31. And taking a look at the scoreboard, uh, wow, NC is all over this oh thing. Oh, my gosh. But look at that one TR hero. 20 kills. 20 kills. That's impressive. Dreamless. Hi. VR39. I see uh, bright things in that guy's future. Yeah. Shout out to you, good sir. Well done. Um, he might be that guy in the mosquito that just keeps dipping and dodging and trying to get those those kills, which is fine. Um, yeah, the NC are absolutely shutting down this yeah. armor push. They have Raven Maxes out. They have uh, AV turrets. Now they're just like, all right, let's just run across this plane. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, I think their foots are going to cross the plane, which is, is probably the worst <laughs> tactic they can do. <laughs> Um, this is a huge open space. Like you said, it's yeah. like that airfield. You, yeah. This we, is a huge open space. Like imagine, the, imagine how comfortable a sniper would feel right now. NC? Yeah, absolutely. Just chilling back here. I don't know. Maybe we can find one. An infiltrator. Like just on top of this roof or something. And then just zooming forward and just sniping all these guys down. I mean, they're just not... I don't know if they're out of resources and that's why they're foot zerging, but this is not the most effective way Let's to... Let's see if uh, it works. It definitely approach. looks a little bit intimidating. I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of TR running across that plane. But again, they're so vulnerable. There's not a lot of cover. They're sitting ducks. What do they shoot at, too? What, I, are, the, what are they supposed to shoot at? I have no idea what they're doing. Um, they we'll see if it works. They they're just like, them. again, I think it's the YOLO, YOLO mentality. The, the EU folks bringing the YOLO. The bringing the YOLO. swag mentality of yes. just going over this bad boy. The, the EU folks bringing the YOLO mentality back to the war report. I like it. I'm a fan. Absolutely. 
They're kind of making progress, man. I don't know how they're not dying. Yeah, the TR or the NC should have a much easier job. I mean, they are dying, dude. There's a lot sure. of them going down. But there's a lot still staying alive. Yeah. They're I not, guess they they're have not a getting across it, though. I mean, this is, this is a slaughter. It's the strategy like where they're just trying to spread it as much as possible and hope they can't kill all of them. Yeah, I mean, it's, they're, it's not, like they're not getting across. It's, it's D-Day trying to cr uh, cross No Man's Land. It right? is like D-Day. And yeah. here you go. You have like a little collective that just went down. And you have what? Well, you got one guy yeah, left, and work. he goes down too. I mean, they just don't. They need to get their squad leaders over. Yeah. Yeah, they, I mean, they, 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 they need their squad leaders over the point, and it looks like that was TR's last push. Yeah. And I think NC did a great job, it. though. Yeah. That'll NC. That'll do it for the battle. And I'm gonna say great job, guys. Thanks a lot. Episode over. Wow. I'm gonna tell your guys. So that was that was actually a pretty cool day of the war report. Um, yeah, that was a cool day. We had that that pit fight that was. Yeah. Super epic, and yeah. uh, I had a great time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, TR showing their strengths there in the beginning. Like that first battle, I forgot what point we had the bridge one. Yeah, the traverse. The traverse where TR taking air control. And like the, the coolest thing in the beginning of that was, I think they kind of planned that. They're like, all right, here's the plan. No matter what point. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. And this is what future outfits can do, so listen up. And I I, I, may, I may be wrong, but I think it's pretty cool. Where no, they said, this. all right, in the, beginning, in the beginning, here's what we're going to do. We're going to load up 10 mosquitoes or we're going to do a squad of mosquitoes. And we're going to send those mosquitoes directly to our opponent's warp gate and see what they're up to. Before we even get started. And then and you're going to deny galaxies coming exactly. out. Exactly. And once the galaxies come out, we're going to take them all out, and then we have control of that first point. Absolutely. Having uh, mosquitoes, especially in the war report, when you know your opponents are starting as soon as you are, yeah. loading up any ESFs and moving to their warp gate to contain any gal drops, it's a huge, huge effective way to win the war report. And we've seen it from a few teams. And uh, I, I think it was a great tactic. It was, it was sick. And then, of course, in the second uh, objective we chose, which was the pit, we saw the NC doing a, a solid job. Then we saw some distraction tactics there from the TR, eventually able to, to overwhelm, get control of that A point. And then a very key moment, the NC getting in there, recapturing, C4. C4, yeah, that was huge. That pit battle was awesome. Yeah, we haven't had a, uh, a fight like that in a while, so yeah. that was really exciting. And then, of course, the Game of Thrones feel of that last battle at the... <laughs> you love Game of Thrones. It's Pokemon, pretty fun. Game no, of th Thrones. That's kind of what it felt like, Everything didn't it? Like the, the open like we could call it Lord of the Rings, call it what you want. It's Again, it's a situation that happens a lot where you got this open plane and you're trying to get this location that's very near that open plane. NC doing a great job defending. One of the more easy locations to defend, I think, TR made some, made trying to make it happen. I mean, Frostbite, it's actually very assaultable, but they weren't able to get their Sunders yeah. in place. The Sunders kept going down. They weren't able to get one up by eight. You got to couple it with the armor, crushed. I think, don't you? Like, that's... Yeah, I mean, they had they had five in a row at one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, nothing dominant. to support them. Yeah. Yeah, so then they had the armor column, but they didn't yeah. have Sunders with the armor column, so they were a little off their game on that one point, but overall, the TR played very well. Really fun day, guys. Again, you're watching the World Report. I think we got a promo for you before we decide to go. It looks like we got Essential Bundles, bundles now available at the web store. Jack, you want to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, bundles are a great way to save money, guys. I mean, the deals on bundles are pretty fantastic. If you don't, I mean, if you need everything in the bundle, like I just bought a, uh, a camo bundle the other day, and uh, it, it, I mean, the, the, the savings are like 50 to 60% off. So definitely check out the bundles. And hopefully we'll see you guys at uh, SOE Live. Absolutely. SOE that looks Live. like a that, SOE Live. <laughs> I did it. The camera doesn't know. The camera doesn't. The viewers don't know. The viewer, but you did it. You I, did it. I did. I don't want to lie though. I didn't do it. You didn't. Do I'm it. not a lying. Guy. I was going with you on that because I didn't know if we were just lying to our audience, which I I'm an was. honest guy. <laughs> I'm an honest guy. All right, guys. By the way, follow us on Twitter. Uh, that guy Jax. That guy Jax. Look at that. You can see it on the here. Point to your name. I'm at Axel Toss on Twitter. Right down there. Sick. Uh, if we combine our names, that makes Jaxel Toss. It's sort of a clever thing that we do here. We'll see if it becomes a thing. But again, if you want to just Trending. chat with us, if you want to chat with us, just tweet at us on Twitter and we'll reply back. Of course, you want to get involved. You want to get your outfit involved. Try to join an outfit. It's a lot of fun. Pretty easy. Definitely play Planet Side 2 with an outfit. I yes. can't, can't stress that enough. It's so much more fun to play yeah. with a group of people. If you think this guy's, this game's kind of cool, you want to give it a chance, it's absolutely free to play. PlanetSide2.com. You can also get it on Steam. I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, you get it right on, get Steam, on for Steam for free. For, for free. free. Absolutely free. MMO FPS. Find some friends to play with. Invite some friends along. That makes the experience that much better. Also, visit PlanetSide2.com for all information related to PlanetSide2. But that concludes this episode, episode 16 of The World Report. It's been Jax and Axosauce. It's been a blast. See you next time.